Hey guys, and welcome to Pet Talks with Fakira. On this week's episode of Molecule Mondays, we will be breaking down CJC1295 with DAC, talking about what it is and how it is currently being explored in research. CJC1295 with DAC is a synthetic, long-acting analog of growth hormone-releasing hormone, or GHRH. It's engineered to extend the duration of growth hormone stimulation by improving stability and pharmacokinetics. The peptide is based on a short fragment of GHRH, specifically amino acids 1 through 29, linked to a drug affinity complex, or DAC, allowing it to bind covalently to serum albumin, increasing structural stability and extending its half-life far beyond native GHRH. In preclinical models, including GHRH knockout mice, CJC1295 with DAC showed strong pharmacodynamic activity. Daily administration led to normalization of body weight, length, and lean mass, indicating its capacity to restore somatotroph function. Additionally, even less frequent dosing has had partial effects. Studies also show increased pituitary growth hormone, mRNA, in protein, along with more growth hormone producing cells. Early clinical studies showed that single or repeated doses cause sustained dose-dependent increases in circulating growth hormones for up to six days. IGF-1 levels rose for nine to 11 days and repeated dosing kept IGF-1 elevated for nearly four weeks. The peptide's half-life ranged from about 5.8 to 8.1 days. Proteomic analyses revealed changes in molecules related to GH, IGF-1 activity, including apolipoproteine A1, transtyrotin, albumin, and aminoglobin fragments. One albumin fragment showed a strong correlation with IGF-1 levels, highlighting potential biomarker applications for monitoring GH axis modulation. Thank you for joining this week's Molecule Mondays episode of Pep Talks with Bakura. Stay tuned for more and don't forget, Frequently Asked Question Fridays is coming up next. If you found this helpful, make sure to follow us for more and drop the peptide you want to know more about in the comments so that we can cover them in future episodes.